Welcome back to Accelerated Math 108. In this lecture video, we're going to take a look at using linear equation to solve average problems and cost problems. All right, so I got three problems to go over with you real quick. So this particular example regarding to average problems says Jenny has five exam scores, 91, 70, 84, 80, and 77 in her biology class. What score does she need to earn on the final exam to have a mean grade of 80? So remember, this 80 is referring to after the, the final exam. So we're going to assume all the maximum point is at 100 points and all the test, all the exam score weights the same. So ideally, we can say 91 plus 70 plus 84 plus 80, plus 77, these are the first five, plus her final exam, we don't know, which is X, divided by a total of six exam. So add them all up, divided by six, equal to an average or mean grade of 80. All right, so let me just kind of add up what I got on the numerator here, because this whole big fraction is one term only. It just my numerator has a lot of terms. So let's add them up. 84, 80, oops. 84 plus 80 plus 77. So the total points from the first five tests is 402. Plus the grade for the sixth exam divided by six equal to 80. So since I only got two terms, what I can do is multiply both terms by the LCD 6 to clear the fraction. Because times by 6 means 6 over 1. So the top 6, bottom 6 will cancel out. And that will give me 402 plus X equal to 480. So what the 480 represent is the total number of points that you want for the sixth exam grade. So, so far I, I got 402 points already. So, if I move my 402 points to the other side, subtract from the total that I'm looking for, which is 480, 480 minus 402, that will tell me I need to make 78 on the last exam in order to reach 480 points or 80 average. Alright, now take a look at the cost problems. Um, so these problems does not involving with any sorts of translation like more than, less than, twice. So we just got to think about what these problems are saying in order to write out the equation. So Carol buys last year's best-selling novel in hardcover for sixteen eighty. This is with a thirty percent discount. So, what is this is referring to? This is is referring to the sixteen eighty. So let me write it up here. So the sixteen eighty is with a thirty percent discount. So that means the sixteen eighty is already after the 30% discount. So the question asking what was the original price? So the 1680 is after the discount is already after 30% off. So basically the 1680 is the price that we pay. And the price that we pay 30% off means 30% off means 70%. So the 1680 is 70% of the original price that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the original price because the 1680 is after 30% off. That means this is the other 70% of the original price. So 70.7 of the original price, which is X. Some, remember sometimes the word of means multiplication when we're dealing with percent, and that's what I'm using for. 0.7 times X is 
70% is the price I am paying, $16.80. So all I have to do here is divide both sides by 0 0.7. So $16.80 divided by 0 0.7, that will give me $24. So the original price was $24. So when the problem says $16.80 is with the 30% discount, that means it's already discounted. That means this is the price that we pay. And the price that we pay is 70% of the original price. 30% off means we pay 70%. All right. Let's take a look at this problem. Very interesting. A grocery store bought milk for $2.70 per half gallon. Store it in two different refrigerators. During the night, one, refri one refri refrigerator malfunctioned and ruined 12 half gallon milk. If the remaining milk is sold for $4.02 per half gallon, so everything here is half gallon. How many half gallon did the store buy if they made a profit of $60? So the question is asking how many did they buy originally? Before the refrigerator went malfunction. So X representing how many half gallon bought so this problem we need to understand the concept of profit so normally profit is always equal to the revenue revenue means the money that you receive from selling stuff minus the cost the cost is what you spend to purchase the merchandise so what you're selling for minus the cost then What's left of it got to be the profit that you make. So let's think about this. I want the profit to be $60. All right. What did it cost the store to buy all these milk? It cost the store $2.70 to buy X number of milk. But we did not sell all these milk because during the night, after the refrigerator malfunction, I lost 12 of those. So, total number bought minus the 12 that I lost times by what I'm selling for. So, this is so many gallons that I'm able to sell. When I'm selling the remaining milk, I'm selling at $4.02. So, that times by 4.02. So, this problem. The revenue part is $4.02 times total bought minus the 12 we lost. So this is a revenue. The revenue minus the cost will equal to my profit. All right. So let's do some distribution real quick. 4.02 times x, 4.02x minus 4.02 times 12, which is 48.24. Minus 2.7x. So let's see. 4.2. 4 4.02 minus 2.7. Combine like term. That's 1.32x. All right. Let me move my negative 48.24 to the other side. That will be 60 plus 4. 48.24 which is 108.24 divide both sides by 1.32 my answer let's see how many half gallon they bought because that's what the x represent divided by 1.32 my answer they bought 82 originally all right and they lost 12 and sell them at four dollar two cents per half gallon minus the cost which is 82 of those and to in order to get the profit of 60 dollars all right so in this lecture video we talk quickly about using linear equation to solve average problem and cost problems that will conclude this video. Thank you for watching.